Welcome everyone to my 25th birthday birthday haul. I know my birthday was last month, but I have not had the time to freaking show off my birthday stuff till now because I was waiting on some other stuff. I still have a few more things coming from my mom, which is going to be involving Harry Potter stuff. So I'll tell you what that is once I get it. But. We're gonna do a 25th birthday haul. I got on one of my new outfits, which is SpongeBob shorts, and also got got some new short shorts too. So as you can see that there, this cute little SpongeBob shirt. So with that being said, there's one of the out things I got here, but we're not gonna waste any time. This isn't gonna be very long. I'm just gonna show you. Some birthday stuff and I'm going to show you all that I got so if you guys are new to the channel all my social media links are in the description box down below as always if as well as my Facebook Twitter Instagram letterbox snapchat Florides TikTok, all of that is there also my Amazon wish list is in the description box down below if you like to send me any, anything in general but you can do that as well and the safest way to do that is my wish list and my address will always be in the description box down below so with that being said let's talk about this little m movie here so when it comes to this little birthday haul I'm gonna show you everything I got I'll start with the simple stuff and then I'll work with the big stuff so let's start off with the simple stuff first off I did get some birthday money of course some from my dad and some from my brother and some from my my sister most of it I spent except for and then I just got more more money from my mom but that's not birthday money that's just because she wants to give me but Anyways, um, this is gonna be my little gift cards that I got here. So, what I said, this one is for my brother, of course. It's, it's, it says, for my brother, thinking of you on your birthday. And in this was some money I got, which I've already spent that. But, this was for my brother, Elijah, of course. He is also a YouTuber. He does video game stuff. And he's also in school now again once again. So his channel, I'll put his channel in the description box down below. That was one of my biggest. The, that was the big surprise of my birthday party was getting to see my brother for the first time. Me and my brother getting lock eyes, and I'll probably show pictures of it here. So I got to see my brother for the first time and he got gave me this so that was pretty nice of him and my mom the thing is I was not expecting to see my brother my mom and my brother's mom planned that that was actually really cool and I definitely really loved that so I definitely really appreciate that type of type of stuff. This next one is from all of my siblings here, which, which they put so much, they, uh, look at that, from my sisters, my brother-in-law, and my mom, and my little niece, they all did that for me on my birthday, I was, that was really happy, I was very happy to see all that, that was really cool, so, I have that right here and I'm gonna put that right here with the other one take a look at more of the smaller stuff so one of the first big gifts here was one of my first big gifts here was my sister my oldest sister did this my second born sister did this for me her name is Leanne of course so. She made me a customized blanket, which I have here. Put pictures of me and her on there. So she got did this through Amazon, and I very much like like this. My sister, she knows me well, so just showing that off. That's the smallest birthday present that I got. I'm gonna put that right there. 
also that was from her i very much appreciate it also this was these next two you're gonna see which is the big ones was from her and my niece they helped me get this so one of this this they gave me of course i have been drinking out of this cup you did see this in my two of my recent live streams but you have, of course, the Marauders map cup from the Harry Potter movies. I solely swear am up to no good. It's just crystal clear water in there, so don't be offended by it. And it also helps when I'm parched. So I love this cup. I love Harry Potter. You will see a train here when you get so you just get ready for it. That's all I'll say. Now, this was from one of my twin sisters. Her girlfriend actually got this for me, for her, for my birthday. And this is, of course, I have not put this together yet, but this is Lego Spider-Man. That is really cool. Have not put it together yet, but I will put it together. We'll try and put it together. And so this one was also from Leanne. This one is, of course, Harry Potter one of the wands. This is part of a five five collector's item set, which I have. You have to collect the character wands from the movies, and I got, of course, Harry Potter's wand from the from the movies is his wand and of course it says augmenti so it's part of the spellbinding wands collection and part of the wizarding world collection definitely love this wand so this makes four of the wands i have i have snape's wand i have lestrange and i have dumbledore's wand so this is another one to add to the wand collection this is also from a birthday gift this is from American greetings so it says of course hope you score some birthday joy happy birthday Gryffindor yes my opinion Gryffindor is the best house from I love Slytherin Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff but come on it's Gryffindor y'all know y'all know this <laughs> This one I got a teddy bear from and this teddy bear I love this teddy bear. It's really adorable. It's a plushy teddy bear. You press on his foot, it's a birthday bear. It's as he sings happy birthday. So uh and it sees it that it lights up. <laughs> this is really I love <laughs> And it's very soft too. So, definitely, I love this bear. This was adorable. My sisters and, and mom and brother-in-law, they helped me got this. So, I definitely love this. Yeah. Let me put that back in there. I'll put you back in there. Now, these, this is just a bunch. This is some clothes, so of course. I got from my sister. And but they got me jogging pants and a pullover with Snoop Dogg merchandise. It's called Doggy Supply. As you all might know, Snoop Dogg has his own clothing line, and I did wear this on my birthday, my birthday weekend, and I like this. This I have not worn the pullover yet, but I definitely like love this. It's it fits very well on me. And it just gives me some style to go with. So that's actually really cool. I love that. That's really cool. Now, as I just said, this SpongeBob shirt and these new pair of shorts were part of birthday clothes. So I might as well show the rest of them. And I'm going to be very careful about showing them. As you see, the second pair of shorts that will go, go with my marvel shirt i got another marvel shirt everyone knows i love superheroes and stuff 
Yes, I will probably wear this to when I go see the Marvels because my sisters are going to be taking me in November to go see it in theaters. Yes, I'm supporting that movie. Fuck cancel culture. Fuck incels. Fuck their films. It's not my job to cater to your feelings. But I like this shirt. The one shirt I do not have elf shorts with yet, I'm going to show it. This one, everyone, this is another one of my favorite things. So, obviously, it's Star Wars. I love that shirt. I love, I, I, if, I'm thinking, I'm still debating on whether or not I should do the Star Wars movies as live commentaries. I have reviewed them, but I feel like I probably might have to update those reviews a little bit. Mainly 1 through 6 and episode 7. But I, I haven't decided if I want to review those because... I already still have to catch up on Mandalorian Season 2 and 3 reviews and um, Obi-Wan and Book of Boba Fett. And then also when Ahsoka is over. But it's just the fact I haven't talked anything TV show related about Star Wars is because the Star Wars fandom has been so increasingly toxic and vile and disgusting. You don't like the newest stuff that Disney puts out? Fine. But don't think everything is the worst thing in the world. And... The next up we're going to show off is... I was not expecting this one, but... My sisters, they got this one for me. Because they know how much I love the movies. And they know how much I'm a fan of this franchise. I am not looking forward to the new Max show, HBO Max show, because you're not going to be as good as the movies, and you will damn sure not be as good as these books. And that is the complete saga of the Harry Potter book series. So, we got all seven books in here. I love that. That is fantastic here. So, I'll just be careful taking them out and go one by one. So, we'll just... Here we go. We got Sorcerer's Stone and the Philosopher's Stone, depending on where you live. But the one that started it all, I love that cover art. I have, of course, Chamber of Secrets. It is the longest one in the movies. And I do feel the length when I do watch it, but it's still a great movie, but it's just just a great book as well. My favorite movie in the series, Prisoner of Azkaban, which is the book. I love that. They actually did that just right in the movies. And I know some of, a lot of the movies they did take some creative liberties, but when you're making books to film adaptation, I, you do have to make sacrifices, but I did think they do a faithful job as much as they could have. You have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I still hate Dolores Umbridge. Even in the book, she is an asshole. And that's my honest truth. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. The beginning of the end. Which I know. They did take, oh, make a lot of changes for this. But I still found it to be mostly accurate to the book. There are some things that they did have to take out. For, but you know what? I still love Half-Blood Prince. And my favorite of the book series, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. This is both the, the, the entire story of Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows in this. So, 759 pages of this. It is the longest book in the series. But, I loved reading these back 
in, the, in school and I love watching the movies as they came out. And it just made me grow big on Harry Potter even more. So, I pretty much have the books and all of the main movies. I just need to get the Hogwarts special and the Fantastic Beasts movies. Get your butt in here. Get in there. The damn thing doesn't, doesn't want to cooperate. My sister paid a good price for this and... Stuff like this, this is a collector's, this could be a collector's set, so I'm going to hold on to this, and I'm never going to get rid of this. Because I love this, love this universe. Despite what J.K. Rowling said. I, I'd still be a fan. Now, this one, all of my sisters pitched in, and they got me this, because they knew, I no, know, it was time for me to upgrade. And I have been using this one, but I have a new camera, and that is the Kodak PixPro AZ255. So, you see, it's right here, and it does work, too. So, you see, as I zoom in... And this is way better than the last camera. It goes up pretty big when it comes to the lens. It just zooms out like that. But I love this camera. I like it way more. It does stop when you're recording after 8 minutes. But it's alright. I do love this camera still. It's great. Now, let's get to the stuff I got here. So, this is a bunch, and you obviously know. These, I'm going to show these in a update as well. So, along with one movie I got from a giveaway. So, back in June, because I forgot, because I can show it in now. The Alien Anthology, the first four Alien movies. You have AVP, which I'm missing a disc to this. is the movie disc. You just have to get the movie disc, and then I'll have AVPR, and then I'll be complete with Alien, and then it'll just lead me to finish the Predator series. Now, I did say if, I, if I'm going to get this particular franchise, since I like it, I'm going to get the other ones, or not at all. But, we have the Star Wars prequel trilogy and the Star Wars original trilogy. Which, they gave me a duplicate of Revenge of the Sith in this, but I found the special features disc for this one. So, all I have to do is get that separately, and it will be here. So... And I can finish it off. And then I will get the rest of the Star Wars saga. Yes, I'm getting the Disney ones. And I will get Mandalorian once it eventually comes out. But I got Shoot 'em Up. I just did a commentary for this. I'm going to leave these out because I am going to show these off in the physical media update. You got The Social Network, one of two David Fincher movies I have, even though he does not like to talk only three, it, it's there, but got this, it works very well, and I like, I people don't like this cover, but I personally really like this slipcase, you don't get to 500 million friends without making a few enemies, I like that, I'm gonna show it off again in the physical media update, so... So just get ready for that. I got the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy. The extended edition. Love that. That is cool. Definitely love that. And I got one of my my top my number two favorite movie of all time. 
which is my favorite Fincher movie, his American version of the girl with the dragon tattoo. So that's pretty much all I got. So. And that, of course, is my birthday haul. If you guys like what you see here, be sure to comment down below what you guys think of it. Those of you who wished me a happy birthday last month on the 10th of August, thank you guys. I love, love you guys for this. And as always, stay up epitastic, acknowledge me, join the epitastness, and you guys keep it cool. And I'll see you guys in the next video well that's gonna do it for the video that you just watch i will have my channel here so you would like to see anything here click the channel icon subscribe for more i will also leave a video and maybe a playlist here so in case you want to see what i'm about as always stay up join the up and you guys keep it cool